Okay, so prokaryotic cell doesn't really have this kind of structure, right? Okay, so it doesn't really have these kind of ER Golgi body. It doesn't really have organelles. Okay, only thing that prokaryotic cell has is um, the region where DNA exists. Okay, so nucleoid and also it has ribosomes. But other than that, it doesn't really have ER, lysosome, Golgi body, those kind of structure. Okay, so in the eukaryotic cell, protein actually gets synthesized through this kind of structures. Today, we're going to talk about different organelles existent in animal cells as well, okay? Animal and plant cells. So when you go to page 59, so here they talk about up to lysosome, and then we can also talk about mitochondria. So that's another structure existent in animal cell. Okay, so other than the endomembrane system, we have mitochondria. Okay, so mitochondria um, is actually also the double membrane structure. Okay, remember nucleus was a double membrane as well. Okay, so the nuclear envelope that actually wraps around the nucleus is double membrane, right? But also it has double membrane structure for mitochondria as well. Okay, so here, what this does is it produces ATP, okay? So this produces, produces energy needed for the cell, okay? So in order for a cell to function right, okay, then it needs chemical energy, okay, so that um, it goes through all the RNA trans translation and the DNA transcription, those kind of stuff, okay? Mm. So all of those processes actually need energy. Okay, so that energy source actually comes from the mitochondria. Okay, so it produces energy, and usually the energy that's used in cells are called ATP. Okay, so we'll learn about this uh, later. But during cellular respiration, okay, so we take in O2, all right, and also we eat glucose. Okay, so we eat carbohydrate, and those ones are actually broken down, okay, to produce lots of ATP, okay? Mm. And that ATP synthesis actually occurs within the mitochondria structure, okay? So mitochondria actually um, participates in cellular respiration, okay? And the process of cellular respiration for human cells we actually do glucose meets O2, okay, to produce CO2 and water and energy. Okay, so this kind of energy is actually formed here, okay? So that is mitochondria. So when we're talking about mitochondria, when you go to page 60, Okay, so figure 5.5, this is the structure of mitochondria. So remember, um, on the surface of a mitochondria, we have a lot of enzymes called ATP synthetase. Okay, so ATP synthetase is an enzyme that participates in synthesis of ATP. Okay, um, so when you look at mitochondria and chloroplast structure, okay, um, let's look at a brief picture about this. All right, so here is a mitochondria, okay? Mm. So mitochondria actually is in both plant and animal cell, okay? Animal cell, uh, plant cell also has mitochondria like this, okay? So mm, in both plant and animal cell, what it does is produces energy, okay? Produces ATP mm. through aerobic respiration, which means that um, from glucose and O2, okay? So if O2 gets involved, then we call that aerobic respiration. Mm. So through that kind of respiration, actually plant and animal cells produces ATP, okay? So when you look at the detailed structure of mitochondria, mm. so it looks like this, right? So when you look at the membrane, it, it has two membranes, okay? So it has outer membrane, the blue one, sky blue one, and then it has inner membrane, which is the brown one. Do you see that? Okay. And also the outer membrane is double membrane structure. So outer membrane is actually two layers. Okay. Also, when you look at the chloroplast, mm, 